So let's uh, let's dive on in. The question right here, it's gonna say if it is three feet long, how wide is it? So right there. Everybody, what's the phrase or word that we really wanna to underline to understand what we're going for? What's the phrase, how wide? How wide, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, if whether you wanna pass or you wanna get a 70 plus, first of all, you gotta pay attention. But number two, you gotta make sure you know how to handle word problems, guys. Like, there's no way around it, step by step. What do you want, what do you have, what's the connection? So number one, what we want is how wide something is. Everybody, is it true that how wide is the same thing as saying you're looking for the width? Is that true? Cool, I'm glad we agree. So let's go ahead and start by writing that down. We're looking for how wide something is. So we are looking for the width. Width equals something. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. Who here, pop quiz, can tell me what unit we're writing? You know, the answer is, you know, the width equals blank what? Blank feet. That is correct. That is correct. So with that, what we're going to go ahead and do, poem right here. We're going to write blank feet. And then up next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start reading through the information. So let's see what we have. We're looking for the width of something. Everybody, when you're talking about lengths and widths, is it possible that there might be a shape involved? Is that possible? Yeah, very possible. Very possible that there's a, a shape included. So with that said, let's go ahead and read through here. Just see what's going on. A rectangular coffee table measures 10 total feet along its sides. Uh, what's the shape here, everybody? All right, we're talking about a rectangle. So let's go ahead and just circle that right there. We got a rectangle. All right, and then it says it measures 10 total feet along its sides. Can anybody tell me what we're talking about here? Can anybody tell me what we're talking about here? Area, perimeter, okay, we have some deferring opinions. Let's see if we can figure out which one it is. Oh, now someone's saying length as well. Someone's saying height. Okay, so let's think about it. Let's think about it. So what we see here is, okay, 10 total feet along its sides. So is, if we're trying to visualize that, is it fair to say that if we're saying 10 total feet along the sides, we're talking about going all the way around it, right? Is that safe to say? Along the sides, around the sides? Okay. What idea is that, everybody? When we're talking about the distance around a shape, what idea is that? That's perimeter. That's perimeter. So the 10 total feet along the sides, everybody, that is perimeter. One more time, everybody, in the chat box, how do we calculate perimeter for any shape? How do we calculate perimeter? Right, we're gonna be adding up all the sides. Add up all the sides and we're good. So there it is. We know that if we add up all the sides, we get 10 total feet. And what else do we know? Well, we're given right here, it's three feet long. Three feet long. That means that we're given the length. The length is three feet. So when you think about it, everybody, if you're trying to find out how wide this thing is, look at what you can do now. The perimeter, you're gonna be adding up all of the sides. That means if you're looking at your rectangle, 
you have yourself a length and a length with a width and a width. Everybody, is that true? We got opposite sides, so those are both widths. Both of these are both lengths, or this way, either way you wanna put it. But yeah, the opposite sides, they're gonna be the same. That's what it looks like on the rectangle. And if we fill in what we know, we can do it kind of intuitively. I can show you with a formula as well, how to plug it in. But first, let me show you intuitively, then I'll go ahead and show you with a formula. So number one, let me just show you intuitively. Let's plug in the three for the length. And then the whole thing is supposed to be 10. So let's do this, everybody. If, we try, if we're trying to find out what this is by itself, well, let's take things away. If the whole thing is 10, and then we take away this three and take away that three, everybody, what's 10 minus three minus three? What happens when we take away both of those threes? Where are we at now? Right, so 10 minus three, that's seven. Then take away another three, seven minus three, that's four. So we got four left over, but that's not the answer because we still got two of these left. It's two of those W's that are left, that's what's four. So what do we need to do with that four to get our final answer? What do we need to do? Yeah, we gotta cut it in half. We gotta divide it by two because we have a width and a width. We have two widths that make up four. Cut that four in half, and you'll see what one of those widths are. And so that's going to give you two. The width is going to be two. So that's a little bit more of an intuitive way to go through it, kind of showing you, hey, if you can visualize it, this is kind of how you might approach the problem. There are some people that would prefer to use formulas. Is anybody here interested or wanting to see just using the straight up formula, getting straight to the point? Who wants to see that? Cool. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and dive in. So who knows what the formula is for the perimeter of a rectangle? Who has it on hand? Go ahead. Who has that on hand? Sounds good. So let's write down that formula. Let's go ahead and push this right over here. We're going to say that the perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. Okay, and let me just remind myself that the answer was, again, A, 2 feet. We just saw that. Again, that's what we just said. I'm going to highlight it right there just to make sure I can come back to this and check to see if I'm still good. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. Everyone, we know that the length is what again? What do we know the length is again? Yeah, we know that that's going to be 3. We know that that's going to be 3. So all we do is plug in that 3 in that parentheses. That's all we're going to do at first. And then we also knew something else, everybody. We also knew the perimeter. What was the perimeter going to be again? What did they tell us along the sides, around the sides? What did they say? 10. So we plug that in. That's all you got to do. If you know how to read your formula, Oh, P equals 2L plus 2W. The perimeter, P, is twice the length plus twice the width. We're looking for the width. Let's have some fun. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way, you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing, and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are, and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. First step, everybody, what's 2 times 3 going to be? Let's, uh, let's fix this up right here. What's that going to be? That's going to be 6. So we have ourselves a party here. 10 equals 6 plus 2 times W. Now... How do we get rid of that six? If we just have a number sitting there, not attached to anything, just sitting there, how do we get rid of it? Yeah, we take it away, we subtract. So it's a positive six just sitting there, so we take away six. So with that, boom. Again, to both sides, gotta keep that balance. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, right? And so that's gonna cancel out. 10 minus six is gonna be what, everybody? That's going to be 4. Nice and easy. So we have ourselves with 4 equals 2w. 
We have two times W, two times W. How do I work backwards from there? What do I do? Exactly, we're gonna divide both sides by that two. So allow me to duplicate this and put this up here. So what we're gonna do again, divide both sides by two and we are done. That's gonna cancel out right there, giving you four divided by two equals two. And that is W, the width is two feet. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.